You know, I'll tell you that the expectation from the viewer when they're watching their TV is that connected TV is going to look the same as traditional, you know, broadcast TV or cable, you know, the pay TV. So um, that's our expectation is that we can deliver on our viewers' expectations. But look, let's face it, um, with programmatic demand, um, you know, we're working with SpringServe, who has a, uh, a dedupe solution. Um, we have all other demand partners as well, but the, the majority of our revenue comes to SpringServe, but it's still not perfect. And so um, the one thing I will say is that while seeing the same ad twice in the same pod is not a great experience, and that's certainly something we don't want to uh, see often, and, and the viewer doesn't want to see often, I think there's only one thing worse than that, and that's Slate. And, and I know just from my own personal experience, when I'm watching TV and I see the we'll be right back and some music and it goes on for too long, um, that to me is, uh, you know, the, the most heinous um, you know, type of experience for a viewer. But I think the great news is the industry is working on this. We all recognize that there's an opportunity to improve. And that's what we're doing every day. We're looking at new technology. We're looking at ways that we can implement better, better partners and technology to, uh, to reduce any type of uh, ad duplication. Well, that brings me to my next question about the importance of business rules, things like competitive separation, ad adjacency, and ad deduplication. Why are these rules so important in CTV, especially with programmatic transactions? Yeah, you know, and so that comes to the other side of the uh, of the broadcast or or the uh, you know the stream equation, which is the advertiser side. So I don't really think a viewer cares if they see an ad for a Chevy you know product next to an ad for a Ford product. I'm not really sure that that you know registers with them. But from an advertiser standpoint, it's very important to them. And so the industry has been able to deliver on that consistently. Um, you know, again, in broadcast TV for many many years. That's the expectation from the buyer. And, and so therefore that's what we have to deliver on. So again, lots of technologies come into play and you know, we're working together right now. We're, we're uh, um, working with addressable linear and starting to launch that. And, and that's a challenge. Um, you know, the ad, uh, ad or competitive separation is a bit of a challenge uh, right now, which is why we're, we're still kind of in the, in the proof of concept and test mode. Uh, but look, this is important for advertisers and therefore it's important to us. Well, as much as we talk about fragmentation in the media marketplace, we're also seeing convergence between CTV and traditional TV. So as this convergence happens, how does that change media buying and selling? And what are some of the big opportunities you're seeing at EW Scripts? So, you know, today buyers are looking for a unique reach. Um, you know, they're looking to uh, for, for new audiences, the beauty of a lot of these connected TV audiences, they're streamers that you may not be able to reach on broadcast or pay TV. And so, so we're working together to deliver and package that audience um, primarily today with connected TV. I mentioned addressable. We're working on the addressable linear piece. And then, you know, we can't forget that, you know, ATSC 3.0 or next gen TV, we have that type of addressable inventory that'll be coming on, online here in the near future. I mean, we're going to get to a point where there's a convergence and it's really just going to be TV, right? So uh, you know, TV impressions or addressable TV. And I think there will still be a need in, you know, from a buy side for, for broadcast and for networks. Uh, but I also think that there will be a huge demand. And we see it today in connected TV, a huge demand for addressable audiences. It's just going to happen across multiple platforms. That makes sense? Yeah. And finally, Tom, I, I really appreciate your taking the time today to talk to us. Uh, so finally, what do you see in the future for CTV advertising and monetization? Do you have any bold predictions or any items on your wish list? Anything you'd like to see? Well, I don't know if it's, I wouldn't call it a bold prediction, but I would I'd say it's a want. I mean, I look forward to the day when we can easily, right, and efficiently be able to sell those addressable audiences wherever they may be occurring, right? If it's on addressable linear, if it's on connected TV, if it's on 3.0, that we can put all that together um, with our, you know, our broadcast, um, you know, linear audiences as well, and deliver these cross-screen packages to our advertisers with ease and efficiency, um, and also attribution, right? John Wanamaker said years ago, you know, 50% of his ad budget doesn't work, just doesn't know which 50%. Uh, which half. And, and we're getting to a point where the granularity and attribution is wonderful. So, um, and I, so I see a day when all this comes together, cross screen, cross device, 
um, with tremendous uh, data on you know where the audience saw the ad and what the outcomes were from that. And so that that today is what I'm looking forward to. 